Welcome to Empire Buddy, this is Rampan, and welcome back to my Dejic Invasion campaign, where we continue where we left off from last time, where we had a defense of Caldera that we had to do, where they have some reinforcements, they decided to use their uh, siege equipment to break more holes in my goddamn walls. I'm hoping they're going to be idiots with their reinforcements and just let them sit here. They haven't advanced on us just yet. Oh, actually they do. They actually have some artillery of their own over here. That's not good for me. Well, I do have these forces right here. I'm going to have you guys probably start distracting them then, as I can't let them advance on me from two directions. I really can't have them do that, so my reinforcements are going to have to move up this way. I don't know if you guys kind of rush up right here. As long as you guys make your way from over here, I'll be fine. We've easily held this spot multiple times, as once you guys get close enough and I can shoot you, ah, uh, you're not going to have a fun time, because your captain is... where the hell is he? He's somewhere in this blob. Somewhere. So, I'll keep having it so that you guys will rush over here. Honestly, you guys will probably do a decent amount of damage. Their captain is right over here. He's this one. Yeah, no, he's this one. So I can try and easily get uh, you to be eliminated. Uh, chaplain's here. Catapults. I just need to try and distract you guys so that they can't just freely walk on in from the other side. Because, like, you guys right here are doing a wonderful so far. Number-wise, two zip. You better not ignore me. You better not ignore me. Get back here. I am not done with you. I'm not even over here to fight you yet. Get over here. Archers keep trying to rush up too. I don't like this. I was a little too late to respond. Because I assumed the other army was the one with the artillery pieces. But nope, they actually broke open a section here. This is not good for us. I'll try and take one of you guys. And move you over here just in case. Just to kind of watch over that section. Because these guys are all breaking. I'm not worried about them at all. It's just these guys right here, which none of you are stopping. You guys are running around for some reason, but now they're bringing quite a few guys right here. You go immediately for them. You make your way that way. You are trying to get up there and help them out. Number one, zip to nine. Because you guys are leaving just a littering of corpses right around here. That's good odd. That's... That's not good. That's Dega Thor. No, he's, yeah, he's here. No, but there goes at least I've one of the captains out. for this army. Then you guys should be pretty easy to break now. Just a little worried about back here, as I haven't been able to get any good units to properly stop them just yet. So I'm going to have you kind of try and just run straight through the gate up that way to try and get to them. Uh, Archer as well, maybe go that way too. My general, I'm going to have you kind of run around this way. And then, basically, it might have to you and you can maybe flank these guys? Eh, maybe, maybe. Because at the moment, they've lost about 13% of their forces. <laughs> I have one dude to try and stop them right here, which I don't like. I'll have to hope that you guys can get in there in time. Come on, get in there and distract them. You guys are doing nothing, so let's have you run back in. Because I might, with how you guys are feeling, might be able to easily break you guys. Because there's the one guy. Because there's no enemies over here, you guys will probably turn around and start focusing on them over here. I'm hoping that's what's going to happen, at least. Uh, where the hell are you? What are you fighting? Okay, get in there. You two. Uh, you are about to be fighting dudes if you go that way. So I'll you actually run through that hole that they've made. Those some of those javelin men. And then how are you guys feeling here? You guys are pretty eager. Come on, hold them back, guys. Are you guys at least turning around for them? Yeah, some of you are. Okay, good. We go. So with him out of the way, I'm hoping that you guys, because what I'll do is first try and break these men here. So you're going to try and run around this way. Same with you. You might actually try and just immediately open up on these guys with Archer Fire. Uh, I see, like, oh, they do have some strike force here. I can maybe bring, like, one more unit. Actually, can you shoot this dude point blank, please? <laughs> please just turn around. Shoot this man point blank. I need that. Because right now, things aren't going too well back here. Like, I'm going to need time to actually replenish uh, or, like, rebuild my walls. As now that there are two holes, uh, this will be a little bit more difficult to try and do. So you need to get over there. You guys go right here and just uh, start unloading on the guys that are chilling right here. And then you guys are turning around. Are you going to actually try and shoot them point blank? I'd love if you did. Because these guys, oh, I've got about half their unit left. No, they're too close. 
I was kind of hoping that maybe they could rig it up somehow. They could just try and plop it right in front of them. But that does not seem to be working. So you instead will have to be the ones that are going to try and shoot into these guys. Weaken them. You go right there. Try and get those guys to break. And then this general actually... Run around this way. Run around this way so that I can have you kind of help out from this angle. And it's actually a bit better if I have my archers stay right here and unload on them in the back. So they've lost about a third of their army at this point. And if I can just keep my archers here, you should be able to do a decent amount of damage to them. Oh good, you guys finally finished up here. So now, keep capturing those guys. And then I can actually turn your attention around. And I'll send you this way. Oh, yeah, because they're starting to break now. Ooh, good. Like, they're not even actually trying at this point now. They're just running. So now we can easily run them all down with my dudes. And then we just have to wait because they've got their artillery still somewhere around here. That I could go rush, but we can just wait it out. Yeah, I'm really hoping you guys will actually give me time to repair my walls. At this point, I need it. I cannot hold this city again if you don't give me that. At least I've got some reinforcements now outside the walls. They'll be very useful. I can maybe just put them into the city so I'll have a full stack in here properly. But I would prefer to be able to repair the walls. Then actually have that other force go on ahead and do something else. It would be nice to have them maybe go for Aldrun possibly or a different city. Or maybe have them go back down south. Because we are trying to kind of focus on Indoril first. And then go after the Ashlanders once everybody else is dead. Because I really don't want to divide my attention between North and South Vardenfell right now. I think it's more important to focus one down first. So you, please let me actually get some repairs there. It looks like they did siege it again, thank God. Although we were trying to build ballista towers. How many turns do those have? I can maybe just put the one large army up in front for now to kind of distract them. Otherwise I'll probably maybe merge some of those guys together then have most of this army in Caldera. Ooh, another general. Let's see. I will take you. You're currently in Kavach, it seems. Oh, everybody's just going there. Uh, Fort Riverfield, that is a castle. I will accept that. Uh, another Black Sacrament. So, let's see. Uh, Wyland Ales, that is way over there. Okay, uh, I can try and just straight up keep assassinating them from here, I guess. We'll try and do that. Because you guys need to keep moving around there, but I don't care about you right now. First and foremost, we need to actually look at this city. So, we can merge and retrain some guys. So, kind of try and retrain first. And then you, I'll say, give, like, those dudes. That's a full stack now. Because uh, the walls, oh my god, you're still... I have to stop building those. I have to get the walls repaired. Those have to be repaired. So, they've now got some reinforcements here. Hopefully that'll be enough. I gave them more archers because they need more archers than anything, really. And then I think maybe these other guys I should have come down this way. Let's see, you're in the way. Because more like Mar, you guys have a couple more turns, eight turns. I'm going to seize them out because they actually have some pretty good guys. I tried to move through you guys to just kind of keep pushing through so we can actually get to the deck itself. And then I don't have any other dudes to kill around here, do I? I don't think there's any other family members. Let's check Evan Heart Castle one more time. No, I don't see anybody. Okay, so if that's the case, let's actually bring you guys up around this way, and we'll start trying to assassinate any sort of generals for the um, Ashlanders. So you guys can try and do that. Uh, you start sieging Vivek. I'm uh, I'm honestly probably gonna fight Vivek. I love fighting Vivek in this mod. Never mind, you fucking garrison, you asshole. Because uh, Vivek, I love the city. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, you, let's bring you down around this way. You can go for Ebonheart Castle. You can do that. Uh, you as well, honestly, just make your way down this way. You guys will kind of help out, reinforce, go for Ebonheart Castle. And then, actually, that's like basically it. Molagmar is besieged. We're besieging Vivek. We need to go after Ebonheart. We need to make sure we don't lose Balmora, Caldera, or Hileloid. Uh, I need to make sure I do that. Uh, I have plenty of assassins right here. Target. So let's try to try and look around for any family members of you guys. So Tomorrow's nobody around there. Actually, do you have any spies away. around here? You can get a spy for us. Because yes. I want to try and look around and see where are their family members. Because I might be able to just assassinate yeah. all of the Ashlanders, possibly. That'd be great if we could do that. Because right now, down here, uh, I should have attempts. 
<laughs> Let's see. Do we actually? Uh, not you. Uh, where'd he go? The there he is. There is the uh, great master. The he has like no command whatsoever. Come on, give me that ominous music, please. No, you know what? I'm just gonna like cycle through this quickly. You guys will see a sped up version of this that I will just try and see if any of them are gonna die. Oh my god, we actually did it! We actually did it today! I only lost one guy and then he actually died! Okay, so there's. Oh. <laughs> I was that close! I was that fucking close to killing them off. Are you kidding me? Well, hey, look at that! Redderon's dead! Okay. Well, let's just go around and stab other people then. Uh. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to be like, uh, it's disappointing. Maybe we do kill him, maybe we don't. We do kill him, and then we have to get through four more people. No, he's now dead. I was straight up dead. There's one more faction down! Thank god! Okay, so let's kind of spread out our assassins. Try and start stabbing other people, at least. Uh, just go train on something else. Like, just go try and hit something. Try and burn it if you can. Because now, we only have a few more family members left. So we have... We still have to get rid of Hilalu, Indril, Ashlanders, and... Um... Talvani. So there's four of them left there. But that's some progress. That is some goddamn progress. We shall not relent, Let's ever. see. Uh, I thought I had another armor for you. No, here it is. My lord. Okay, so you make your way up here, Mom, and then let's just try and see you if away. you. you should fear us coming, yeah. There you go. And then Ellen here's just open for us. There you go. Exterminate the goddamn populace. I'm sick of trying to make you guys happy. So just exterminate them, and then you guys will keep pushing forward. Like you guys. I already got somebody going for Foul Grief. I don't even mean, Mythic Dawn there, so I'll coming, my enemy. I need some more Mythic Dawn, so let's grab some around here and some other dudes. All of you guys kind of keep pushing forward towards Foul Grief. Uh, I do have Rorikstead. Because I'm going to leave these two guys here, these two Mythic Dawn archers. I'll take everybody else. Let's kind of... Let's go... I know you guys are going towards Morthal, so I'll leave that to you guys. Let's have these guys go towards Greymoor. Because you guys should be okay here. Yeah, let's lower the taxes. Lower the taxes and start uh, building up the temple there. Uh, can you guys recruit anything? You can recruit a little bit, so let's do that. Recruit some guys around here. I need more Mythic Dawn in general. Oh, get some of those guys. And then keep moving them forward towards Rourke, so we'll say. Keep moving them over that way. Uh, Dragonstar's got a dude that's not being used. Send him over that way. You guys be at least one more turn until you get to Morthal. And we can try and take that from the undead. You guys can keep pushing that way. You guys are just waiting for things to be free upkeep around here. You guys have, let's see, three turns there. One turn there. Okay, so that's probably going to fall soon. You do have Mythic Dawn. Yeah, you do have Mythic Dawn there. Okay, perfect. So you guys do have that, that, and that. And then let's see. Fort Nasso, you're still trying to gather more men together so we can make another army to push forward with. You're still trying to send more guys over there. And then I do have this other general, Raino. Let's have you come over this way. Keep trying to gather those forces together. And then this army right here. I'm basically just, I think, waiting... Of course. Uh, we go no further this day. I can try and move you Man, again. Man, Let's see if he'll work. Theory. Otherwise, I'll have to have it... Like, I just don't know if the command's going to work with him. But I'll wait until uh, this guy at least gets My him. Lord. So I'll uh, wait three more turns. As if anything, then I can at least for sure grab the uh, captain and have him do it. You guys keep grabbing oh, more team. guys around here. Boom, boom. Also get the ballistas. Why not? Plus, this can be a pain in the ass for the enemy just as much as me, so might as well. Oh, good. You guys can just get a few more units around here now. I mean, I still can't do much. Have you guys grown yet? No, but some of you are getting kind of close in some regards. But no, you guys kind of just wait here. I need my one... I just need my one spy to start trying to find some of your family members and figure out where the fuck we're going. Um, if anything at all... Where are you... My Herald. 
There he is, right here. Because uh, I was going to be having you be the one that's going to drop off my army from the from Oblivion uh, up here, so that's uh, closer to some of the NA cities that are more uh, weakly defended. So we can go over that way to try and do a bit more damage to the Ashlanders. Also, it still seems like the uh, relations are still broken. Yeah, like it's just how people feel about me. They really shouldn't feel this nice about uh, towards me, but they do. For some reason, they fucking love me. Okay, you guys keep gathering some more men around Iverstead. Same with you. Honestly, I might need to have it so we we'll get troops from a different spot soon, because this is kind of kind of be out of the way soon. Have you still? Used... Oh, you just haven't built up. Build this so units are free upkeep. Do that, you idiots. Do that. And then, let's see. We can now take Fort Dawnguard for here, sure, pretty easily here. Five to one. Push through you. Exterminate them all. And then let's leave. Oh, let's leave two of you. Yeah, two of you will do. Get up that. Repair everything. And then I'll leave you guys on growth policy as well. This force here. Let's see. I think I might just have you immediately go down towards Omania. Let's have you do that. I'll have some reinforcements for you soon, hopefully. Uh, not from here, at least. You guys can make your way over here. We can ignore Blacklight now. I don't need to conquer it. As long as I make sure no AIs take it, that's the only thing I care about. Because I just need to make sure other AI factions don't get stronger. Because I'm honestly probably going to ignore Dawnstar and Winterhold as soon as I get rid of the undead around here. There's no reason for me to take those cities, really. So I'll have it so you guys just keep recruiting some more men around here. As we need to just focus on Greymoor for Dawnstar... Dunstead? Yeah, Dunstad. Uh, and then Morthal. As soon as those guys are done, I can just have it so that any other forces I have that are ready to kind of go for here, I'll actually send them instead to Varnfell to then focus on the Ashlanders. Oh no, the undead are trying to attack me as I'm walking to Morthal. I'm actually curious. I'm going to lose this probably. But I want to know, how much damage can we do with these 450 guys against this 3,000? I'm just curious, because I know their stats are lower than mine. Both of, like, these guys uh, have a pretty good morale where they shouldn't break. The undead can't. Uh, but these guys shouldn't break, and I'm just kind of curious, like, how much damage, like, there's no reason to really pull back. I'm just gonna hold here and see how much damage we can do to them, because I'm just curious. If I can get at least, like, double my number, I'll find that perfectly fine with me, because I just need to, uh, soften these guys up as I'm making my way over to try and eliminate their forces in Morthal. And so, like, we'll just wait for them to come to us. You guys can unload on them. Should be able to get a decent amount of kills with my archers. Unload on these skelly boys. Oh, those are some crossbowmen there. Let's try and rush you guys in here and here. They don't have a ton of skirmishers, but I do need to make sure they're not shooting me. Otherwise, I know they have far more than I do, so they'll be able to very easily kill me. So you guys kind of rush out into uh, loose formation. And then let's see. Ray, something changes in the course of battle. Because so far, it seems almost certain. We've killed about 300 guys, roughly. That's kind of what we've killed so far. They've taken out a fourth of my army. It's not doing too hot. Okay, I'm gonna try and pull you guys away. Try and flank a little bit. There's no reason to try and be in loose formation. They're just gonna get to me in melee. Oh, there goes my guys. There goes my infantry. We have lost half of our men. So I only killed about as many as I had. That's kind of sad, actually. I was hoping to kill more of them. Maybe get a couple more kills, but nah. Fifteen. Yeah, I, it's almost exactly about the same amount of guys that I brought into this battle. Yeah. Okay, we killed a little more than my own men. Uh, that's not the worst. You guys tried. At least we kind of weaken them a little bit, and then we can have my army that's right behind you guys kind of try and finish them off. Because Morthal had like, what, half a stack, I believe? This is now closer to probably half a stack, honestly, after the damage I did to it. And so I have a full stack of guys, basically, um, in the other army that can be pushed forward here for Morthal. Because I just need to get them out of Skyrim. Out of Skyrim, and then I can ignore every other random little rubble around here. I just need to make sure they just can't take more cities. That's the thing. And I don't know what the undead... If I can actually properly kill them off. 
Uh, they might be technically like the Pope in game, and so their faction might not be killable, even though I will take all their cities. Because I don't know about that. I don't think there's a reason to really focus on assassinating their family members. Doesn't really feel like it uh, with what they've got here. And so I think we're just going to ignore assassinations with the undead. And we'll focus more so on I just need to take their lands. That's what I have to do, which I could actually probably get rid of them pretty soon, honestly. Because Skyrim, they've got three cities. They've got four, is it five over your Black Marsh? And then two in Pelantine. At least, uh, oh, my guys should be there now, aren't they? Avangora, that is a castle, so I will accept that. Uh, Sentinel is riding? Wait, why? You should be out. That's why. Financial policy. It's always financial policy, yeah. Repair all that stuff, and then just make sure you're on growth. I forgot about that. You should be on growth policy. And then, um, I need to actually go back over here. As you need to try and assassinate this man. My lord. So let's have Who you go guy? around. 5% chance. Try and do it if you can. Once I've got more assassins, I'll probably keep doing that one little like sped up um, assassination thing with how many guys we have now. As I don't want to keep going through. Oh, we first try. <laughs> nice job. Okay, I immediately just already uh, succeeded there. Perfect. Then I can ignore that. Uh, that means you don't need to get more assassins here. We've actually done pretty good luck today with the assassins. I love it. Okay. But you... Let's see. Keep making your way over towards Abenhar. You need to try and take you guys out. You're still sieging the back. Moy Ma. Bo uh, let's see what else. Who is my I... Do they have anybody in Aldrin? No. They have no family members in Aldrin. Are there, like, very few family members for you guys? Because I'll have that guy stay near Aldrin. You go towards uh, Nissus. My brain wants to say Guinness. Guinness. Uh, Nissus. Nissus. Uh, you go over there, and I'll keep bringing more spies around, and we'll just try and check and see do they have any family members. I would find it interesting if they don't this have that many name generals. Because most of the guys I'm seeing around the map are all captains. Like, I'll try and send you guys over this as way. But as Who far as I know, like, you just go straight up here. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, that's actually their uh, faction leader. Okay, okay, okay. Keep getting more assassins around here, and we'll just keep sending them up north. Just keep moving up this way, as we first need to just figure out where they are. I, I, I actually, I almost want to just check and see. And just go all towards uh, Margon, maybe. And that might be the best family member, maybe. <laughs> That'd be great if it was. It'd make it a lot easier to get rid of you guys, because I don't see... I see, see a lot of captains. That's all I see. They might have a very low population growth for their family members. Oh, no, here's another one. Damn it. Ah, uh, that's wrong. Unless he's not on the family tree. I don't know if he is. We'll keep trying to send our spies around to look up there and see if that is maybe the last Ashlander family member, possibly, that matters. Uh, but for now, uh, let's move. Daughter? I'm going to try and see if we can take out Rainil Rattan here. I'm going to do another one of those little sped up assassination attempts, as I've got a lot of guys around here, and I'm just going to go through all of them in a blitz. Or just kill him on the first attempt, I guess? That was a lot of build up to nothing. Okay. <laughs> we'll go to another city then to find on more family way. members. What is with my luck today with assassinations? I've been doing really fucking well. Time is up. Like, that's just another family member for Hilalu. You're still trying to make your way down to Omania, which there's a general there. I don't see a name. Not. That's not an important one there. There's nobody there. Who is my target? I can try and at least kill this guy. Option, my lord. No. The target, please. That's all I Are there other family members down here? There maybe? Oh, there's their heir. Their heir is currently there. Which actually... Right now that I don't have to walk up here to try and kill off Redron, uh, I'm actually going to keep pushing Lost down around here. So let's enemy. kill you. I don't care about that other force around you. I just care about you. So we're going to try and kill off the heir here. And then I am going to go towards Fort Cupter down there. And try and capture that. As with Redoron dead, I now need to try and maybe push Hilalu a bit more uh, while I can. Just to make sure that they don't try and take advantage of those new rebels that are just sitting there. 
from such so I'll wait a little bit so I can properly try and see a little bit. There we go. Archers, grab all of you. Fire arrows off. Skirmish mode off. Catapult and then infantry. Let's start to see battle. And let's see, are they going to advance on me? They kind of seem like they are a little bit. Now we just need to make sure that my skirmishers are going to unload on the general. I want to make sure that he dies. I don't want him getting away. So let's make sure you guys move about there and there. And then my general up about here. It seems like they are going to advance on me. Perfect. Okay, everybody rush into position, please. And then where is he specifically? He is right... Oh! oh. Please hit him. You guys can't hit him from there. Come on, get a little closer. Come on. You guys can rush up in position, please. Come on, shoot him. Get in range and shoot him. Almost all of you can hit him now. There we go. Unload on the general. I don't care about anybody else in this fight. Just that general. I will have all of my infantry kind of move forward a little bit. Just to make sure that my archers are protected. Very much in our like you guys can get that way. You guys over here as well. I need to move up as into the melee. Uh, you need to actually move. God, it's hard to see with these trees. Gotta try and back up a little bit there so you're not being attacked in melee. Uh, you're another dude. Although you're being attacked from the flank. Uh, let's get the, my general over here to help out with you. 4 to 16. Keep it up though, guys. The general, how's he doing? He's old. He's got about 44 guys left. He started with like, what, 78, I think? So he's almost halfway dead. Come on. Keep it up. Infantry, honestly, I'm just going to give you AI commands. And just keep pushing up. Because right now, 27% of their force is already dead. I just need to make sure you die. That's all I care about in this fight. Is making sure that the general dies. He's at 22 now. Uh, maybe I should make sure you shoot some of those uh, self-starters, please. Uh, actually, if you can't hit him from there... You are. Okay, try and focus down these Silk Striders. I need to make sure they die. They can do a lot of damage, so I'll need to be careful with them. And the general, please! Oh my god, we still got like 10 guys left. This almost reminds me of the fact that uh, I did a stream today with uh, Divide and Conquer AGO, and my god, I'm wondering if there are any fail, uh, generals in this mod that have yeah, as increased uh, health to the generals man. as some of the guys in that mod do. Like, Gandalf had like 18 fucking hit points, which is kind of crazy for Medieval 2. As I know, a, a unit with two hit points in Medieval 2 is kind of tough. Like, that's kind of a crazy thing to think about. Come on, there's four of you left. Just make sure he dies before the, uh, the rest of the army is defeated. That's all I'm asking. As long as he's dead, there we go. Now we must send his Lord Rarus is now dead death. on the ground. The and we already got the Magic 85, so we can end that battle. No need to keep pushing along the them now. So now, let's just go around down here and let's check and see if Fort Cuptor has a general in there. If they do, I will start sieging it. If they don't, I'm probably just going to ignore it. Because again, if they don't have a general in their city, I don't care. It's only if I'm trying to get them out of an, a region, like in Vardenfell. Vardenfell, I want to make sure I just get rid of all of them uh, for Indoril. Because up there, at least, that would be one area that they could kind of be trying to hide away from me. And so I will be taking those lands, even if they don't have a general. But around up here, I've got... Or down here. Uh, I have most of my lands already kind of secured. I'm not too worried about that. Get the hell out of my way. Ah, oh, I don't have any more movement. About to say. So let's see. Four cup door. Uh, they actually. Grandmaster Sofa Sill. Maybe, uh. Maybe we'll kill off Ilalu today, too. You never know. Like. Do I see their other faction air? So I know there's nobody around here. I know there's no one in there. Is there anybody in Aldmarak? I can't tell. Aldmarak, I'm unsure. But I'll have you yes. kind of make your way down here. And kind of check on that. Position. I know there's nobody in here. I know there's nobody over here. You're still just a family Whose member. Time is up. Captain. Oh, they do have some stuff over here, too. Hmm. I'm going to hope they have nobody over there. Actually, I'll probably have you go check that first. 
Ah, so you guys are going to attack me at Skin Grad. Let's see. You got a bunch of. Okay. A bunch of peasants, a bunch of lumberjacks, and a ballista. So they're probably going to try and break the walls down. It's going to be unsuccessful. I'm going to hold back at the uh, city center. I have no skirmishers, and I need to just kind of fight them in melee where I have the advantage. Or I'm going to want to fight where I have the advantage. So I'm going to take advantage of the unlimited morale in the city center and wait for the enemies to come to me, as their morale is usually pretty bad. So my best hope for this city here is that you guys are going to break very easily as soon as you start fighting me in melee. Oh, please don't actually use your javelins. Please don't. I need you to try and fight me in melee, where right now... Oh, we're off to a bad start. Probably lost 5% of my forces. Oh, that's not what I want. So I need you guys to start breaking, or I need to start pulling ahead a little bit, which we kind of are. 3% difference, 3 to 4% difference right now. If I can pull that ahead a little bit. Come on. Oh, okay, there was 2% difference for a second there. We might be able to do this. It's just going to take a little while of just sitting here and having my men fight them out, and we might be able to do this. If we kill their captain, I think we've almost guaranteed it. As speak of the fucking devil, he just died. Um, okay. So I've lost a lot of guys, but now that he's dead, they might start breaking. And then just fleeing from the battle. Come on, it's not that bad. Oh, those archers, though. Those fucking archers. Oh, come on, just do what you can. We might not be able to win it if they're not going to start breaking anytime soon. Because we've got a couple guys running away, but not a massive chain route. If anything, I might have an idea. Right now, they've captured, started capturing the city center, and it's not early enough It's not early enough to actually win the battle. So what I'm going to try and do is have some of my units see if you can maybe just stay alive. Just stay alive. Get away from the enemy. And just stay alive. Just don't let them kill you. And even if they run out the timer, I will still win, technically. So you run away as far as you can from the enemy forces. And maybe just, just hide, just hide. Because I know they technically haven't, they have to capture it before the halfway point to actually be able to capture the city. They haven't yet, so I should be able to run the timer out, technically. Damn it, it almost worked. So I'll have to take the city back, as I can't let them have Skengrad. I, I really just can't, so I'll have to gather some more forces around here and just reclaim the city. Because we're not ready to push on to Pelantine and Valenwood just yet. Uh, I need to check on my army down there, though, to see if they can do anything yet. Because they should be down in uh, Valenwood or elsewhere soon. And then I need to make sure I try and take one of the cities. I'll, I'll focus on cities that either have a Valenwood general... Or they have um, a high culture for the uh, Khajiits. If they have that, then I'll probably be trying to give that land over to the Khajiits. Because again, I think it's going to be easier for me to kill the Khajiits than it is going to be for me to kill Valenwood. Let's see, Ghost Gate. I will definitely grab a Worm Cult Warlock unit there. <laughs> Curse of Tremuel. Uh, Black Sacrament or some other Necromancers. Uh, no. Yes! No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to recruit some units to randomly just watch over and try and do that for me. Uh, again, like, you guys are just, like, for some reason have a, uh... Ooh, there's the tribunal there. You guys have some sort of jihad that you're not supposed to have, I believe. Um, but no, let's gather some guys around here, get some men recruited, and then we'll just start trying to push back and take... Oh, I've got an army here. <laughs> no, not an army. I have generals. Uh, I'll group up around there and then Kavach as well. Try and get some dudes around here. And we'll try and take Skangrad as soon as possible. Uh, down here, you guys attacked my navy and almost killed them. Um, now let's see. This force here. Eh, yeah, just a bunch of crap. But this one's got. Eh, does have a family member in there. Okay. So let's. Uh, I need to bring you back over this way. I need to retrain this navy. I need to retrain that navy. Try and start recruiting some more ships. And then what I'll do is my diplomat is right here. Um, not close enough to Haven, which is, which is annoying. But uh, let's actually go first for you guys here at South Point. Okay, so we'll have to just actually properly siege it. Uh, we'll be able to take it just yet. 
Ah, it's kind of annoying. Okay, yeah. We'll have to just gather forces together for yes, you. Lord. I should maybe grab some guys enemy. from Fort Homestead, too. Yes. Let's grab some guys from around there. The oh, I have some generals here, too. Uh, let's have you also go over towards... Oh, actually, group over around here. You'll grab some guys from in there and then make your way over there to help us out. You guys here, let's see. Four turns. Oh, I forgot about you guys here. Um, Let's attack you. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so then I can very easily pull you out of here, kill you guys, and take Fort Greymore for myself. And then I also need to double check on uh, Morthal. <laughs> I kind of forgot about this area for a little bit. Uh, we'll try and push through it quickly now, because as soon as the undead are removed from Skyrim, we can kind of ignore them, and we can start pushing more of our forces for over the moment, towards the, the uh, Morrowind regions. Let so boom, boom, let's grab all of my archers. All of you guys, let's draw us a battle. And then please just advance on me. Ah, oh, now you're running. Get back here, I say. Let's just run at them, honestly. Like, you guys go there. You guys kind of go, like, up here. That is going to be kind of facing the direction we want to go anyways when we want to face the enemy reinforcements. And so let's just kind of rush up at them. At least you guys have only had, like, one skirmisher in this army here. So you guys can just rush on in. I'll start killing some undead. My archers are still trying to get in position so they can unload on these guys from this position. Go. We got some bandits working with some undead here. Should be able to easily beat these guys back. We just have to make sure we get the Magic 85. Otherwise, we're not going to get the city proper, sadly. So just kind of start rushing at them. The that one's running away. Oh, you just keep kind of chasing them. Uh, and then I've got a couple more guys right here. You're slowly making your way forward. That's fine. Take your time. Take your sweet time. You guys, are you in some position? Can you not shoot them from there? No, you can't. For some reason, you still can't shoot on them from this position. Huh, I thought you'd be close enough to hit this guy. Is it because of the location? Is that maybe what it is? Like, you guys should be able to... Yeah, you can open up on him pretty easily. So, kill that one cross over there. Let's see. 5 to 23. Come on, we just need to make sure we get the Magic 85. That's the most important aspect. At least they're undead, so we should be able to very easily get the Magic 85. We just have to make sure we also Only kill some of their the living units, too. Remains. Like, open up on these guys here, these Draugr Spearmen. They're almost dead. You keep running up that way. Just a bunch of bombs right now. Did you actually catch that unit? Nope, you're st still trying to, though. Um, I'll ignore them for now. Skirmishers... Group you guys up and then oh, ignore the this guy because he's out of ammo, so he's worthless. Archers kind of move up to about here, I'd say. Nine to fifty-one. Okay, so we've already got almost all of them. Kind of run up here. That should just be the captain. General. That's not the name general. No, it's not the name general just yet. Okay, going up this way, and then archers. I'll probably have it so that you guys will try and line up about here. As honestly, these guys are inconsequential. They're going to be dead soon anyways. And so I'll be able to just ignore them. We just need to focus on these guys over here. We just need to kill the name general. And we need to make sure that we have the Magic 85. That's all we have to do. And then I'm guaranteed to get the city. So you guys kind of adjust over here. The skirmishes are already in position. So let's kind of maybe move you guys a little closer. As that's a two-handed sword unit. I don't care about him. I care about this necromancer. So all of you guys, uh, actually, all of you just focus over here. We just need to kill a couple more of them. 24% of their fo uh, forces are left that I need to properly kill. So archers just kind of run up. Make sure you can try and unload on this necromancer. There you go. Oh, that's a good shot. Okay, keep pushing up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. He's almost dead. Let's see, 10 to 63. Oh, he is shooting me. Uh, return fire. Do not let him do that. And then let's have you guys be on AI commands, honestly. Let's see, we're at 66. Because this guy should have enough for us. I just need to make sure the general's bodyguard dies. Oh, come on. He's almost there. There we go. Okay, so now it's just these guys right here. So archers run up here. And then let my end infantry just deal with the rest of them. You're supposed to be running out of there. From fire to flame. 
Our general oh, lies no. slain upon the battle. Whatever shall I do? Oh, so my guys are actually breaking Our shit. Are winning the battle. Uh, that's if not we good. continue like this, we will smash the enemy. We gotta get 10% more of their forces, though. Spearmen, Draugr archers. Those Draugr archers are still alive? Are you serious? They should be dead by now with this. Only half the enemy force remains. Let's see a tiny bit more. And... and there we go. Now it doesn't matter. I doesn't matter how many guys I lose. We're gonna get the city now at this point. All civilized there we go. Will be so now Fort Greymore should be under my control, and that is one less settlement that the undead have in Skyrim. So we just have to focus on Morthal and on that other random fort that I don't remember the name of. So as soon as they're out of that. We can have all these forces just make their way towards... Like, even the guys that are just being used to just take random rebel settlements, they can also just start making their way over towards Morrowind and Vard and Fell in general. As I'm not going to need them to take more rebels. Like, we were only taking more rebels around these areas because there were so many rebel settlements that the undead could have taken more of their land. Um, or the... Um, Dork Elves could have taken some more land in that regard. But, oh, I meant to exterminate now. that, but that's fine. You guys just need to, uh, actually, wait, what? Oh, the Temple of the Day of God's already built up. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. You guys actually like me already here. Perfect. Um, because let's see. Hi. Go for that, and what are the chances here? Ah, uh, you should be fine. There we go. So Morthal is now under my control. Uh, don't have anything down there, but uh, I've got reinforcements. They'll be there in time. It'll be fine. No need to worry at all. Let's see. Now, I think I should be able to assault these areas now, too. Because, like... At least uh, Ebonar Castle here. You can lead the. Oh, you don't have enough just yet. Okay. Next turn, we can assault this area at least. So just keep queuing that up. And then let's kind of look around a little bit more. Because I'm still trying to find more of the family members. Let's see. There's nobody there. Okay. Spy. Go up to here. Because so far. Yes. Nobody in Aldrun. I know there's somebody in Margon. Very good, Lord. That like, might be the last family member. Like, are any of my assassins nearby or close enough? Who is my tar whose time is like, up? I'm gonna have you go for here. The target. Who is my target? Let's see. He's not gonna die. But are we gonna kill him? Come on. Ah. Damn it, missed him. Okay. But let's just try and assassinate the family member here. The faction leader here might be the last general they have around here that actually matters. So just keep sending you guys all this way. All of you keep going this way. Did I ever send some others over here? No, I didn't. Not yet. And then you just keep getting more assassins. Uh, same with Satanine, because Satanine could also get assassins too, and you'd remember that. So I've got several of you guys that we can also send up here. The target, please. Who is my target? Here. And then is there one more? Is yeah, that's another assassin. Time is up. Okay, keep going up that way. Journey is I just over. don't see anybody else. Like I feel like that's got to be their last dudes. I hope it is. I really hope that is the last yes. of their family members that matter for the Ashlanders. Because that would make it really easy to kill them off, even though they have so much land at Vardenfell. Because down around here, I know. <laughs> That's the current faction leader for the undead. Um, now, let's see. I know there's a guy here. That's their faction leader. So, so. what about over here? Aldmrak. Aldmrak doesn't have anything. Okay, you go try and seize that settlement then. As long as there's nobody around here. I'm going to have you check around here. Come on, is there anybody? Ah, there is. Okay, Lord Sen. Okay, so they do have another family member. Well, you guys can all go over there to try and kill him. 8% chance, not the worst. I'll try and have you guys see if you'll be able to succeed there. Keep on going over there. Boom, boom. Got so many is up. Eight of you here? Or is it six? There are six. Five. 
So keep making your way over there. Hopefully we can assassinate him relatively easily as I'm just going to assault the city that the heir is in. So he's guaranteed to die. Well, practically guaranteed to die. Um, he, he shouldn't be able to get out of that. Shouldn't. So you guys can keep doing that, that, and that. Um, and then let's see. Uh, I'm actually going to push through that. Which I should be able to do. But I think for now, I'm actually going to be done for today. I think this is probably a pretty good place to end anyways. Uh, right now, over here, I should be able to assault you guys next turn. Uh, we can keep pushing them back. But we have at least killed Redoron. Redoron's dead. The uh, Indril, or he, he'll all lose probably closer to death. Uh, actually, Ashlanders are probably the closest to death, if the, I am right, and that is their last family member. And I'm not sure if it is. We'll have to see. But I'm going to end this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel in the description. So you can check that out. This is Rampan, and I'll see you guys next time.